at the wheel of a shadow and that's Villeneuve again he's done it again and look at the near side rear wheel tire he's at Tarzan and he's thoughtfully looking at the back of the car up comes his visor what is he going to do he's he's starting he's he spun the rear wheel right inside the tire back onto the circuit throws mud and dirt all over it and that's not good and he's getting going he's got a whole lap to go before he can get to back to the pits and now you can see the incredible shape of the rear wheels on modern formula one cars like gigantic aluminium cotton reels and this is hardly believable Villeneuve with a ribbon of rubber and nearly losing the car altogether he's on three wheels and the whole of the near side rear suspension must be dragging on the ground and that won't be doing it any good at all he's out of Hugenholz now he's up towards the Hunzerook and he's got all the top bit to do round panorama round boss wheat before he can get into the pits and see the speed he's going off flies a bit of rubber bit of a Ferrari souvenir for the thousands of Dutch spectators who'll pour onto the circuit as Villeneuve comes slowly down to the right-hander towards Panorama. Is he going to make it back to the pits? There's John Watson, broken McLaren in the background. And we're waiting now to see if Gilles Villeneuve appears into sight. There's a white flag waving in the background, and there's Alan Jones. That's a flash of Alan Jones's car. As Villeneuve comes into sight with rubber flailing, the feet passes him. Alan Jones, there he goes, past Villeneuve to lap him and still the gallant French Canadian is motoring on and it looks to me as though the Ferrari is in real trouble as he comes into the chicane there's Piquet past him and look at that spark he's on two wheels not three wheels and the whole of that near side wheel rear wheel is ripped off the suspension it's dragging behind the car like a broken limb and still Villeneuve motors on, determined to get back to the pits, and look at the offside front wheel right off the ground as the rear drags, and it's a miracle that the car isn't catching fire with all those sparks flying from the skirts and the near side, and he's doing, doing a wheelie as he goes down the straight there, and how incredibly difficult it must be to control the car with one steering wheel and one driving wheel on opposite sides of the car passed by Hector Rebarque, passed by Jackie Ix. There goes Ix to start another lap with Rebarque behind him and into the pit lane comes Gilles Villeneuve. Now, what's going to happen? They surely cannot possibly mend the car. There's going to be uproar in the pits when he, and the Ferrari pit is right at the, this far end of the pit. There's Forgeri, the Ferrari team chief with the yellow stripes on his jacket. What's he going to do? He waves his hands, trips up over the airline, taps the suspension rear link with his foot. The race is over. Get out of the car, Gilles. You've had it. And Gilles Villeneuve does that. Enormous congratulations for the little French Canadian. His team practically adore him. He's got an enormous amount of guts and he's proved it yet again. Because just remember that last lap wheel banging contest he had with Arnoux in the French Grand Prix.